Today I'm going to show you how to connect two iConnectivity interfaces together via USB. For this example today, I've taken a Mio XM and I've connected the USB DAW port, USB B DAW port on the front to the USB A MIDI host port on the Play Audio 12. It's a pretty common setup for a lot of playback rigs uh, where those two devices are together and you're trying to get some DIN connections into your Play Audio 12 and to your redundant rig. So let's take a look at this and how this would kind of work. So one thing to note is that in your DAW or whatever software you're using, if you're using Ableton or whatever DAW you're using, you will not see the Mio XM directly. Um, you're not going to see any ports that say Mio XM directly. What you're going to see is the Play Audio 12 ports, and then you're going to connect through the Play Audio 12 to get to the XM. Um, so that's kind of our chain of command. So what we want to do is we're going to take a look here at the Play Audio 12. So if I minimize this one. So if we're on computer one, which is jack one here, we're going to see the following 16 ports. Um, host one to eight, RTP one to four. These two, four reserve ports, which can be used for anything. Uh, what we're going to focus on is the eight host ports. Because the Mio XM is actually connected to the host port, we're going to use these host ports to actually connect to the gear on the XM. Um, so for using the host port, USB host port reservation is going to be very important. You can see there's some connection status here already, but we haven't reserved anything. Uh, if we click on one of the port reservations, you're going to see that there are 16 ports coming from the Mio XM. And you're probably like, what do these ports mean? Where are they going? Um, these are actually all mini ports, so they all have their own 16 channels. And we can reserve up to eight of them into the Play Audio 12. So what we're going to do is we're going to look and see what these 16 ports are on the Mio XM. And how we're going to do that is we're going to look at the port that we're connecting through the XM to the Play Audio 12. So if we go over to your Mio XM, we're looking at the USB DAW port because that's the port that we've connected to the host port on the Play Audio 12. So let's go to our MIDI routing. And if we minimize these first two sections here, we can see that this is the USB DAW port we're looking at here. So we have DIN 1 to DIN 4, uh, host 1 to host 8, the preset selector and then three reserve ports which are just open for whatever naming and routing you would like them to be. So if you look at all this you're going to notice that there's 16 of these ports which correspond with the 16 ports um, on in the PA12 drop down list for the host. So let's do let's do an example. Um, say in DIN2 we had Let's go with the Nord stage. Uh, in DIN 3, we had uh, an SPD-SX. And over here, we had a Profit 6. Let's go with that. So we have a little, little keys, um, drums, background kind of vibe here. So you can see we have these. These are already routed. You can see Nord stage right here, DIN 2, is routed on the right side to USB DAW DIN 2 port. SPD is routed to the DIN 3 and Profit 6. So you could actually rename these. So if you want to, you could come over here and under the USB DAW. And we can rename these so they match um, just so it's a little easier to do all this. I find as much naming as you can get in there is always nice so that you can understand where everything's going. All right, so we have all these. Um, updated all these updated names now and if we look at the USB DAW oops, clicked on the wrong one you can see it's updated the names here as well so those are the main ones we're going to kind of look at um, if you had a host device say we had a uh, let's say host one we had a uh, key step in there let's go with something like that um, so these would be our devices that we're looking at so let's, based on this information, so we know that DIN 1 is the first port, port 1. DIN 2, which is no North stage, is the second port on the USB DAW, third port, the fourth port. And the most important part is to know where the host port starts if you're using host ports. So the host ports start at 5. The fifth port, 
one, two, three, four, five is host one, which is the key step. So let's look at these examples and how you would route them over to the Play Audio 12. So let's go over to Play Audio 12 here. We're going to go to USB host reservation. Let me select that. So in the first host slot here, I actually want to put in, let's put in my key step uh, because it is actually host one on the XM. So it might be nice to have those correspond across. So let me go to, let me select port five. Remember that the first four were the DIN ports and number five is the first host port, which is where we would have reserved our um, key step on the other one where we named it. So let me go to port five here. So this one's gonna be my key step. I just have to remember where these are gonna be. We can rename these after. Then the second one, I would like to have uh, port two, which is gonna be DIN two, which is my Nord stage. And then we're gonna do port three, which is DIN three, the SPD. And then port four, which is, um, I think I need a prop six, prop six uh, which was DIN four. So that's all we need to do. We'll keep the rest of these at none. Um, it doesn't matter if these show uh, connection status. It just means that it's connected and it's on, but it's you need to reserve it in order to make it work. So we'll leave the rest of that. So let's go into your MIDI routing and let's do some naming so that these kind of correspond. So what I would do is I would go click on the first port under the USB DAW. We're a MIDI routing page here. And I'm going to do some renaming here. So what I want to do is I'm going to rename all the ports on Jack one and Jack two, because we need both sides to stay the same. So in host one, I reserved the host one from the XM, which was the key step. And I will copy that and paste it into that one. So now they're the same on both, both computers. Um, on the, in the host, what we've put in there was the first uh, DIN2, the second port. So that was Nord Stage. Sorry, it took me a second to remember what it was. So we'll put that on both jacks as well. The third one, we had the SPD. And let me copy that. And then host four, I'm just clicking on the little pencil to rename these. Uh, I didn't mention that earlier, but that's all I'm doing to get these to rename. Uh, we did the profit six. And we'll put it on jack two. So now we have the same naming across both of these devices. We've reserved the ports um, from the XM. So if we actually follow, follow the, how this would work, so let's go with DIN2. So say the Nord stage here, we have DIN2 on the actual DIN ports going into the USB DAW named Nord stage. It's the second port. The second port is then reserved as a host two on the Play Audio 12. We go into the MIDI routing on Play Audio 12. We look at the second port on the USB DAW uh, you can look at host two here. Host two here is going to Nord stage, Nord stage. So it's going to both jacks, USB jacks. And then on your computer, you're going to see Nord stage. So um, now depending on your computer, if you're running Mac or Windows, the process to get these names updated, if you actually updated these names, um, is a little different. Um, you'll have to check out some videos and information in the description on how to actually make that happen and that is all you would have to do. So now you should be able to see these names in your DAW and you'll be able to send to and from those. Because if we look the connection between the host port and the USB DAW, so the host port on the Play i12 and the USB DAW on the XM is bi-directional. Um, so you're actually, if I look at the send back to that device, so let's go to Jack one here, say the Nord stage. So the second port here, North Stage, is going to host two. Host two is the second port on the XM. So we go over to your XM and right there, and then sends back out to Nord Stage under DIN. So once you do, once you create the uh, reservation, 
really all we're doing is doing the reservation right here. We just needed to know which ports corresponded to which. Um, but once you do the reservation here, you have a two-way connection from the device on the XM going all the way over to the PA12, which is really cool. Um, there's actually not a lot of setup. Um, for this setup though, I did connect my Mio XM to my computer and that was just so it showed up in Oracle X here. And it was easier for me to show you what each port was and how that kind of worked out. But you don't have to actually connect it to your computer. You could just connect it directly to the Play ID12. If you already know what these ports are routed to on the XM, those number of ports are routed to, then you'll be totally fine. And you can just do it in the host reservation and rename as you need. Um, and I think that's, that's, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at support and uh, let us know if this helps you out.